Welcome along to the Vietnamese capital of Hanoi, a vibrant city built on the banks of the magnificent Red River. Today it's the backdrop for the latest round of the Formula One World Championship, with a circuit specifically designed to encourage overtaking opportunities. I think we could be in for a cracking race today. It's a track that combines the bespoke design of a traditional race circuit with the tight, close barriers of a street track that our drivers race on today. 23 corners and a total distance of 3.4 miles. Watch out in particular for overtaking into the braking zone at turn 11. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the... It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Albon, Sebastian Vettel and Leclerc, Ricardo, Perez, Norris and Esteban Ocon, Stroll, Magnussen, Iceman and Kvyat, Grosjean, Raikkonen, George Russell, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Latifi and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. It the boss wants another podium finish this weekend. I know you're more than capable. What's going on everybody? Welcome back for another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Andre and I'm the host of this channel. The driver of these cars and i'm definitely not that good uh, as you can clearly tell by my, my placement here uh if you caught my other episodes in australia we did absolutely terrible in uh what was the last circuit that we just that we just did uh we did, did we did we didn't do too bad actually we were up there with this one the vietnam circuit i'm not that familiar i don't think i've ever seen this circuit in the f1 games before this could be the, maybe the first one or maybe this is the first time i've ever driven it uh but you know what i give my best i definitely learned that i will be breaking a lot of front lips in practice so you know what let's go ahead and get this started we're going to pull the car back so maybe we can uh, catch up here oh what a terrible start okay i'll sleep there for a second i thought my mic was muted at first so i'll just like yeah I'm gonna unmute it, and uh, actually I muted my mic by accident, and then I'm gonna unmute it again. Good old Danny Kvyat. He took a 10 place penalty, and then he wanted to destroy us then. He got in my way so many times during practice. I'm gonna get him his way now. Alright, let's focus now for the rest of the race. Yeah, this circuit is definitely a little bit tricky. Uh, especially for reference points, you have never raced this circuit before. I kind of had to dodge, dodge that a little bit. Break way too early. I mean, break way too late, not too early. Gotta watch these curves. Hey, we're by our little boy Lando Norris now. Yeah, I found out in practice that these curves have a nice little bump at the top, and if you go over just a little bit too much, it'll chuck you right into the wall. Which is never fun, especially if you damage your front, front lip here. Uh, it seems as though you shouldn't be too affected by it, but on corners like these, it makes all the difference. So having a good wing and uh, damage wing. So our goal for today is to survive this track and finish in front of Lando Norris, our good old teammate. These are overtake a little bit sparingly just so that we can keep up with these guys and 
he stays within DRS range. We're gonna find our overtaking opportunities. We'll hit our breaking zones. DRS is being Watch enabled up. this lap. We Sold can use that. DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. This corner gets so sketchy when you get when you're coming out of the pits. Especially if there's somebody around you. You, have, you either have to watch out for them or you have pressure right into them. Now looking at the right braking zone, we're trying to avoid any damage to the front lane. Okay, let's get settled in here. The lot of noise and that scroll up there. by Norris. The DRS zones are pretty much the best way, the best place to ask people here. This last corner is doable but not the greatest. Might look good here. Good, good job, nice overtake. Just to get our teammate, keep him safe, keep myself safe. I wonder if we're close enough for... Nah, uh, we'll be close enough for a dive bomb here. A little bit too far away. Norris does have an aggressive setup though. Gave him a little bit of a too hard tap, that was a little bit too sketchy there. Have to shut down all the way up the first gear there just so we have to avoid. Geez, are our brakes a little bit too hot or something? That's what I feel like I got my have to work on. R&D, got our brakes up to speed, so I feel like they're not cooling down fast enough. I mean, I'm being extremely comfortable with the brakes right now. Okay, you're in the top 10. Ah, uh, there goes my front wing.
of spare energy. Use your overtake button. It's one down. back so far. Okay, the gap behind is 2.3 seconds. A good spot to really push it and pass these guys. My last stroll, Mamba. for finish that would be great. You're catching the car ahead by around five tenths a lap. Alright, here I should be enabled next lap I believe. Thank you. 
In this lab, in this lab, push now. Oh, break a little bit too late there. Yeah, we can get ahead of Jean Leclerc here. Okay, so we're going on mediums. We're fourth at the moment where the pit will be... Hopefully we'll get out of there before uh, Claire. We will be ahead of him and then Lance Stroll will be ahead of us here shortly. Go! Exit now! We're racing on the exit. Go! DRS.
small amount of time to the car behind. Keep pushing. seconds. Alright, let's say the rest of our US hopefully. We still burn a lot of our fuel. If he's like that, they just load their US about as effective. a few remaining. Far away enough, just in case. We can break a little bit later there if you are by ourselves. Though. The gap to the car ahead is 3.9 seconds. You must be wrong, Jack. Small signs of wear, power output will be down. A lot of time there. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Mm -hmm. 
This is your final lap, final lap of the race. is 3.4 seconds. Yeah, definitely need to upgrade my brakes. For the next R&D. Thank you for sure. Bit of leg and stutter for some reason. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Yes, sixth place. That's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixth place. That's how Plenty we do of action it. Here in Hanoi. A memorable race and an impressive victory. Of course, the Mercedes won the first part of it. Well, they won the race for sure, but. We didn't too bad. We, we and I can see the drivers starting teammate. to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. And All right. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the drivers' championship. After today's performance, Valtteri Bottas secures the championship lead. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to Iceman. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximized their potential. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes yeah. continue to extend their lead. There was also so a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic uh -huh. weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Very well done for the McLaren team. Uh, so who's that? Oh, yeah, that was Esteban Ocon. Oh, and Daniel Ricciardo. Both Renault Renaults were out. That's unfortunate. I feel like the Renault team is the most unreliable team here, I guess. Damn, yeah. Uh, Ricciardo retired later, and Esteban Ocon crashed. Jeez, uh, but yeah, we didn't do, do we didn't do too bad with Norris. Uh, 141. We were so we were a second and a half roughly off from the leader, and well, from the first place, Lewis Hamilton caught Roman were pretty much two seconds behind him. Oh, he's quick, so we weren't too bad of Albon. It's doable. Okay, standings wise. So seventh, ninth, constructors is we're up, we're up to fourth. Nice, that's good. All right, let's hit advance and let's go through these interviews if there are any. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. So. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? It was great. The car was sitting in the track. Uh, the car is nimble and light. It was a breeze. Our power advantage came really came in handy. I think this this is the one to go with. You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. I couldn't do this without a great team behind me. I'm thrilled with their support during the race. This was for the fans. Always put on a good show. Definitely think that teammate was behind me. Team. You had a bit of contact today. Who was at fault there? Not me. They need to look out where they're going. Stay out of my way. No one's at fault. We're both courageous. Some, some, some of these things happen. Uh, you know what? Uh, I wasn't actually in fault with Esteban, but whatever. I'll say that. You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? Uh, this isn't the best track for this car, that's definitely. 
I don't remember hitting anything when you to Rosh Tarupa. Yeah, I definitely don't remember putting any, hitting any kind of things, only just like a little bit. Of our front lip. Great. Well, that's everything. But I don't think they'll really leave a lot of paint anywhere in the corners. Just fire, carbon fiber, really. Hi, that's about knock on. Ooh, sucks to suck, man. Six races remaining. I we're up five two. That's a good sign. But that, I think we will call out a race. We're back at our headquarters. Uh, we got a couple things to deal with. We got an invitational event, which we'll do as a next episode, I believe. Um, and thanks everybody for checking out this this channel. Just thanks, uh, thank you for checking out the video. If you'd like to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell icon. Uh, we'll do more of these episodes. We'll do a couple of streams. And if you got a game suggestion you, that you would like me to play, it doesn't really have to be sim racing in general. Uh, but I'm sure I can make that happen. Thanks for checking it out again, and we'll see you guys next time.